Welcome back to Menu Switch Life Nodding. In this episode, I want to share with you uh, this setup that's basically um, allowing you to create uh, some kind of uh, squishy mess ball. Uh, you might have seen something like this in the past and let me show you. So if you search for squishy mess ball, you're gonna have this fidgety toys that's uh, basically like a ball that you can squeeze and it's, it is actually very really satisfying and so this is similar to that idea so let me show you i'm actually just using uh the cloth sculpt uh, inside the sculpt mode i went to the cloth filter and then i used the inflate enabling collision so it is actually colliding with the with the mesh underneath so let me show you how it looks let me turn on everything so basically I didn't use closed simulations you probably can do similar thing with closed simulations or something better in the future uh, I think fluid fluid might actually be interesting so we have we have these objects underneath this one's just like a default cube that has been subdivided many many times so we have some resolutions enough for us to squish and inflate this guy is the interesting one using geometry nodes and uh, I enabled collisions here so geometry nodes with uh, some subdivisions maybe I don't need this but anyway so let's take a look it's just the default cube um, that has been subdivided I can control the size of this default cube and you might notice as I increase this at some point it's becoming this mesh like a different type of mesh okay so there's something clearly going on there okay I think this is a good sh good size so cube subdivided and merge by distance this one is doing its job okay without this it's gonna look just like a grid of holes merge by distance actually it's pretty cool based on this value you can control some variations of uh, it creates like random triangles basically with or without the dual mesh with the dual mesh you're gonna get something that's more or less like a Voronoi just a 2D Voronoi just on the surface and I have this extrude uh, you can you can use this or not it's totally up to you it's uh, maybe it's giving more character I think I've done something like this in the past let's just zero this out turn on individual extrusions and then you can control the scale scale of the hole so this is for the cage right and then after you do like a uh, extrusion extrude mesh actually work with scale and delete geometry so you're gonna get top and side selection group that you can use to delete geometry in this case I'm deleting the face okay and then here I'm joining back the original uh, surface that's being extruded with the extruded mesh so I, I also use flip faces this is for the inside of extrusion because with geometry nodes if you extrude mesh it doesn't have the inside interior but you can you can use this to join it back and you merge it back so this is like a, a single operations and then sets smooth and set material so that's uh, basically the setup for the cage you can you can modify it as you like uh, I think you can also if you use noise before this you're gonna you can have variations of the whole um, yeah the rest of them is basically just using sculpt mode again cloth filter you can use inflate or expand if if you use expand it's kind of doing the same thing oh no 
I think it's not. Just use the inflate. Use inflate, enable uh, use collisions, and hopefully when you inflate it, as you inflate it, it's gonna do like a, it's gonna give you like a satisfying result. It's gonna push the cloth out through the hole. Somehow it's a little bit slower than before. Maybe something has changed. Oh no. Yeah, it's trying to push it. Let's go back to the original. Scalp mode inflate. Just right mouse button and push it. So this is you're gonna get like kind of like a balloony shapes. Oh if you push it too far it's gonna start to leak out <clears throat> like uh, Tetsuo in Akira what's interesting is that the mesh <clears throat> this part you can actually modify it so it doesn't need to be caged with hole you can replace it with anything like uh, maybe like a string like a circle uh, but you're gonna get this result which is Kind of weird but it's quite satisfying if i save if i append and or just if i create another default cube and just subdivide this many time six time i can then use sculpt mode inflate Enable collisions. We can we can have another one. If you if you want, you can also do the reverse, <clears throat> and then go to sculpt mode, and then just do the opposite. Yeah, it's funny thing. The border is kind of stay like that. But yeah, it's a it's, it's a sculpt mode. It's not simulations. Maybe if you use other software like Houdini or Maya, it's, the result is gonna be different. Um, I haven't tried game engine close simulations. I I kind of wanna I wanna push this out through the hole, and then I kind of wanna have it like a fluid simulation. I haven't tested this with a with a flip fluid yet, but yeah, it's a, uh, it's interesting. Basically, you can try it yourself. Okay, so it's very basic. Just cage, merge by distance. You can increase the number of resolutions here. You're gonna have more holes or less hole. Sometimes, sometimes the dual mesh actually give you some big holes like this which is interesting as well so again create a default cube subdivide simple six time apply sculpt and then inflate so it's kind of satisfying trying to squeeze this out okay this one we have new sculpt Shade smooth all and EV turn on ambient occlusion. You're gonna have some nice details around the edge, and just give it a color link material. So it's like a cheese that's being pushed, or it could be like a butter, or it could be like a cheese that's being pushed and inflated through this cage. Okay, so hopefully you find this useful. It's a uh, pretty random, I know, but uh, interesting kind of setup. Can be improved in the future if we have uh, new claw simulations um, or another way just to play around with these ideas. 
all right so thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye